It is no surprise that Valentine's Day and Lunar New Year are around the corner. Lunar New Year, I believe, it's like the weekend of February 10th. Valentine's Day is February 14th. And so at the beginning of the year, I feel like we always see a lot of like reds and pinks and berries. And those shades definitely lend themselves to uh, new lipstick releases or limited edition releases, uh, blushes, like cheek palettes, things like that. So I did a PR haul a couple days ago and I got some new stuff in from Tower 28 and Hourglass. So this is going to be a very lip heavy, <laughs> lip heavy video. We're gonna be trying out some of the new Tower 28 Kung Fu Panda 4 collaboration. Um, it's a small little collaboration. It's super duper, super duper cute. And uh, they have like a new limited edition, like Beach Please shade, which looks incredible. And then Hourglass came out with a whole bunch of new stuff. So uh, we'll get into the Hourglass. I wanted to start with the Tower 28 because they do have that uh, cream blush. And I have put on just a little bit of concealer, a little bit of the Peau de Peche, no, I'm sorry, the Peau de Rosé from Westman Atelier. Underneath my eyes, I felt like I needed a little, a little help. Um, and I have some Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick in Biscuit on. So I'm at the point where I would put some blush on. So let's take a look at this Tower 28 collab. If you guys missed my PR haul, it came in this adorable, Bamboo Steamer with Tower 28 and Kung Fu Panda 4. So it's Kung Fu Panda 4 that is being released. They've already had three movies out. I think my favorite, and let me know down below what your favorite is, of course, if you've seen any of them, is Kung Fu Panda 2. I think that one is my favorite with the peacock. I just freaking love that one. It also could be because that's the first one I saw. So I saw Kung Fu Panda 2. And then I kind of backtracked and watched Kung Fu Panda 1, which is great too. But I really liked 2. 2 was just so funny to me. <laughs> anyway, so Kung Fu Panda 4 is out or coming out. And look at how cute this is. So there's a um, little cover here. And then it says, turn me over. Look at Poe eating his dumplings. I love dumplings too, so I can definitely relate and talks about what is a part of this collaboration. So we've got, oh, there's also a little, like a little takeout ticket with my name. I love this. They sent over these panda ears. I tried these on during my PR haul. Adorable. I mean, honestly, I've never looked so cute in my life. <laughs> these Tower 28 chopsticks. I love these. And then these are the two actual products that are part of this collaboration. So we have a lip and cheek set. So we have the Beach Please cream uh, blush in here and then their lip gloss, which I'm a big fan of. So that comes as a set. And then look at this Poe version of their SOS spray. <gasps> Oh, I love that. I can't wait to leave this out on my vanity. Their SOS spray, I want to say it's probably Tower 28's like iconic product. It's so, so good. And SOS stands for Save Our Skin. It's been accepted by like the Eczema Council of America. And I don't know if you guys know this, but the Tower 28 founder suffers from either eczema or rosacea or both. I'm not exactly sure, but something very similar to what I have suffered uh, when I was younger. It's definitely better now. So I really, really appreciate that. That is kind of like a main focal point for Tower 28 products is to be s sensitive to sensitive skin. <laughs> so anyway, oh my gosh, I just love that. All right, let's dive into this beach please. Now, both products come in this box. So we've got the Beach Please here. Look at this color. I mean, it is perfect, perfect, perfect for Lunar New Year. Red is for good luck. And look at this lip gloss. It's got gold shimmers in there. Red and gold, I mean, just absolutely perfect for Lunar New Year. And here's the artwork on the box. I'm not sure who this little fox is, but this fox reminds me of Butters. Oh, so cute. So cute. I'm definitely gonna have to run out and watch this movie. Such a sucker for Kung Fu Panda. Okay, so this beach please, the shade is called Dumpling Hour. There it is, let me do a swatch. It is quite pigmented. I'm gonna have to be careful picking this up. Oh, look how bright that red is. That is gorgeous. Oof, I love that. So um, I think what I'll do is apply one cheek with a brush because I, I love using brushes and then we'll do maybe one side with a finger. 
And uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's any difference or if I have any preference to application technique. Um, but I'm going to use my Sonia G mini base brush. And I'm just going to dip in, by the looks of the swatch, I'm going to dip in very gently. <laughs> very, very gently. Yeah, this is really pigmented. And just tap just that little dab into the pan. That's a lot of pigment. So maybe the finger is better. What I'm going to do is actually take the brush that I use to blend out my concealer that I have on today. Oh, did I mention the concealer I have on? I have the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, uh, just kind of around my eyes and like kind of spotted all over my face. Um, but I used this brush to blend it out. So I'm going to use the same brush. I don't think I have a lot of extra product on here, but probably a little bit. I mean, it'll help blend it out, obviously, but also maybe dampen the appearance because it really <laughs> It's really quite bright. I'm just adding a little bit more to the apples of my cheeks. Oh, what a pretty, pretty shade. I love it. I love a red blush. That was with a brush. And I'm going to just pick up a little bit with my middle finger here and dab. And let's see if I'm a little bit more successful. Well, I can use other fingers too. Yeah, it's probably easier to use this with your fingers. Yeah, because you can blend in much more easily and kind of keep the pigment as light or as bold as you want. I love that. Oh, I love that blush. So that is Dumpling Hour, <laughs> Beach Please, from Kung Fu Panda. Did I show you the cover of this? That's the cover, the limited edition cover. Oh, I love it. Big thank you to Tower 28 for sending that over. And I'll hold on to this lip gloss. Maybe I'll throw it onto uh, one of the Hourglass lip products. But before we get to the Hourglass, I do want to throw some eye makeup on. So I've got my Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel in charcoal, throwing that into my brows. I realized I never was able to put up a shorts on the Natasha Denona Mini. Uh, my mini dream collection because while well, I was having technical difficulties, I won't bore you with that again. So I thought, why don't we use it in this video? So I've been using basically the two center shades. This to kind of, um, I know it doesn't look deep enough, but it is to kind of give me a little bit of dimension. And then I just put this all over my lid. So I'm going to do that today. Kind of keep it simple. Keep the focus on the lips. I'm going to start with my BK Beauty 211 brush, and I'm going to go into this light matte shade. And I do like the quality of these Natasha Denona shadows. They're very nice, very easy to work with, much like her midi or her, I don't think they're called maxi, but her midi palettes or her kind of regular sized 15 pan palettes. All right, there is that matte shade. And then I'm going to grab like a flat shader. I've got my Angie BK Beauty brush A501. And I'm going to go into this center shade here and swipe that all over my lid. You know what this palette reminds me of? It reminds me of that YSL Mini Couture Clutch One in 100 that I love, <laughs> love, love, love. And oh, I have it sitting here. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, this color story is very similar. Wow. Wow, at least I'm consistent, right? I think the last time I checked Sephora, this one was sold out. So if you're looking for this one, this is, I think, a really good substitute for that. All right, let me go ahead and curl my lashes, apply some mascara. I've been using my Wayne Goss waterproof mascara, and I noticed it was sold out on Beautylish, which is such a bummer. I know he's redoing his line, so I hope he comes back out with that same exact <laughs> mascara, because you guys know that's like my all-time favorite. But I moved on to my Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This is another one of my favorites. This is just a really good basic mascara. It's just a your lashes, but better. It makes them a little bit thicker, a little bit longer. I don't think it's waterproof. At least it's easy to um, remove at night. And I don't find that it gives me panda, oh, panda eyes. Although that wouldn't be so bad today, would it? <laughs> but no, it doesn't give me like panda eyes or anything. It's like just a rock solid mascara. I love that one. Let's get into all of these hourglass lippies. So hourglass sent over this beautiful, beautiful box of, oh my goodness, there, let me try and open this up. 
so I can show you the presentation at least and then and then we can talk about it. So here's the big box. Whoa. So here's the big box of goodies. I can't even tell if it's on the frame. I think it's on the frame. But Hourglass has come out with a brand new soft matte lipstick, a brand new lip liner, and then four new shades to their Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm. So we're gonna be doing uh, some lip swatches of all of this stuff. So let me take this all out of the box and then we'll do the lip liners and the soft matte lipsticks and then we'll get into the phantoms. All right, so I'm gonna be pairing up the new soft matte lipsticks with the new lip liners because there's seven shades of each and I'm hoping that they, <laughs> that they pair up nicely. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch them, lip liner and lipstick, and then at the end of all of my actual lip swatches, I'll do arm swatches of all the lipsticks next to one another so you can kind of compare. I think that's always helpful. And then I'll do the same thing for the lip liners. So let's start with the packaging before I jump right in. So here's the soft matte uh, lipstick, sorry, soft matte lipstick. It looks just like their satin cream lipsticks, except this part of the component is frosted. So that's very nice, but this part is slanted a little bit and then you've got the H. So I like to store them this way. The shade name is there. And then the lip liners are pretty basic, pretty basic lip liners. They are the kind that you sharpen. They don't raise up and down. So that's my preference because I feel like they stay creamy that way. All right, so we're gonna start with Tulip and then we're gonna pair it with, I think this is the best pairing, Tempt which is number three in the lip liner. So Tulip and Tempt. Okay, so first impressions of the lip liner, very creamy. They glide right on, no tugging or anything. They don't feel dry. Yeah, feel nice. Okay, so that is number three, Tempt. And now I'm gonna apply Tulip. My lip skin is a little bit dry at the moment. My first observation with this lipstick is that it's not emphasizing the little <laughs> little flakes and the cracks and everything that I have in my lips. And I did read that these lipsticks have a built-in primer. And I, I feel like I'm witnessing that right there. You know how lipsticks always emphasize like those little bits of your lips that are about to slough off <laughs> and they're just hanging on for dear life? Um, I have I have a bit of those and I left them on because I wanted to see how this lipstick looked over it. It looks great. It looks great. I don't think it emphasizes them at all. This could be the first matte lipstick that doesn't do that for me. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like matte lipsticks always just look like it's emphasizing every single crack and like rough patch on your lips. And this looks really good. My lips look smooth. Wow, all right, all right for that built-in primer. Okay, I'm impressed, I'm impressed so far. All right, so that was Tempt and Tulip. Ooh, this is a really nice match. All right, so we are gonna play with Peony and then the lip liner is Flaunt. So here's Peony and here's Flaunt. A bit warmer than Tulip. Okay, so there is Flaunt. And now let me throw on Peony. Definitely a soft matte finish. And again, I feel like my lips look smoother with the lipstick on, not emphasizing any of those dry cracks or anything. Wow, wow, okay. This is a really nice warm nude option. So Peony and Flaunt. Okay, the next combo I have is Tiger Lily and Expose. I think Tiger Lily I probably could have used with Flaunt. And Expose seems like a really basic, like nude color. Like you could probably get Expose and wear that with most of the shades. But again, I'll you know swatch them all out and you'll probably be able to see that in comparison to the other lip liners I've used. So Expose lip liner, Tiger Lily lipstick. Oh yeah, this is a great contouring shade, this Expose. There's Expose, very nude on my skin tone. And then Tiger Lily. This is pretty warm, this shade. So there is Tiger Lily. 
Definitely lives up to its name. Has a nice like orange tinge to it. My lips look smooth. I'm like really, really impressed with that. Wow, wow. All right, Tiger Lily and Expose. All right, the next uh, combo is Foxglove and Uncover. Ooh, this is a nice match. All right, here's Foxglove and here is Uncover. All right, so there is Uncover. We're getting, we're getting deep there. And there is Foxglove, really pretty. You know, this goes really well with the, <laughs> this Tower 28 blush, for sure. All right, so Foxglove and Uncover. All right, the next combo is Lush and In Sight. And Lush, the lipstick, is much warmer than In Sight, the lip pencil. In Sight, the lip pencil is definitely much more of like a primary kind of blue-toned red and Lush has some orange in there. So I'm not sure if this is the most ideal pairing of lip liner to lipstick, but it is like the best match, I think, for uh, Insight, the lip liner, because there really aren't any super cool tone reds in the lipsticks, but that's okay. Let's give it a shot. These uh, lip liners, I just wanna point out, are creamy enough, I would say, that you would probably feel comfortable like coloring in your lips, like most of your lips, and then maybe uh, filling it in with some lip gloss, you know, kind of tapping it out, that action. Okay, wow. I always think I'm pretty decent with lip liner until I use a deeper, <laughs> a deeper color, and then I'm like, oh boy. Wow, this really brings out the cheeks, doesn't it? Now for Lush. Gosh, I really like this lip color. Okay, there is Lush and In Sight with a very imperfect, <laughs> very imperfect lip line. But that is, that's actually a decent combo. Once I got it on the lips, I think it looks great. The two together. This is probably the most perfect like Lunar New Year <laughs> lip combo I've ever come across. So Lush and In Sight. I'm starting to get that. I've swatched too many lip, <laughs> lip products look to my lips. Let's let them calm down a little. All right, so the next combo is Sparrow and Candid. So we've got Sparrow and Candid. This could be my favorite combo so far. There's like a fudgy brownness to it, and then the lip liner has just a hint of red in there. Kind of makes it lean a little bit purpley. Mm, okay, oh, I'm excited for this. All right, so the lip liner is Candid. All right, so there's, <laughs> we're done. Here's my look for today. So that is Candid. Now let me apply Sparrow. Interesting, there's quite a difference between these two shades, but they look, I don't know, I feel like they look kind of close when I swatch them, but I'm giving real 90s look right now. But those are the two together, Candid and Sparrow. All right, so this is the last combo I have, Silhouette and Orchid. And Silhouette is the pencil, and then the lipstick is Orchid. That's a very interesting, I feel like this is more Orchid <laughs> than this one, than the actual lipstick. The lipstick has a very, very brown tinge to it, not very purpley. All right, there's Silhouette. And here's Orchid, ooh, very deep, very dramatic. Obviously, I think we could have guessed that. And I think once I like really smushed my lips together, I think the lip liner and the lipstick kind of came together. But I think if you're interested in Orchid or Sparrow, like the two deeper colors, you could probably get that Expose lip liner. That one that I was talking about is just real, kind of like a, your lips, but like a contoured color. You could probably use that and be fine. All right, so here are all of the lipsticks swatched. From left to right, we have Peony, Tulip, Tiger Lily, Foxglove, Lush, Sparrow, Orchid. And here are all of the lip liners swatched. And I swatched them in number order as Hourglass has numbered them, not in the order that I uh, apply them. So just be aware. The first one is Expose, Flaunt, Tempt, Uncover, Candid, Silhouette, and In Sight. All right, and as for this last lip product that I wanted to try, the Tower 28, I think what I'll do is apply some to the back of my hand here. 
because I don't want to get this deep, dark <laughs> lip color in there. And then I'm going to just take my finger, pick some up, and dab. Ooh, pretty. Nice, subtle sheen. And I like this lip gloss because it's not terribly sticky or anything. All right, now that we're done with the soft matte lipsticks and the new lip liners, let's try on these four new volumizing glossy balms. This is, I think, one of their most popular lip formulas. Let me try and get off as much as that lipstick. All right, so the first one I have is Reveal. Looks like a pretty pink. And let me do some swatches. So there's Reveal. These are literally like the exact opposite <laughs> from the soft matte lipstick. So there's Reveal. That's great. That is great. My lips but better. Really pretty light pinky tone. Gorgeous. And if I remember correctly, I feel like some of the shades of these volumizing glossy bombs have a bit more of a minty kind of taste to them or feeling to them. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. And just so you know, this reveal, I don't feel like I sensed, tasted, smelled, or anything uh, minty in there. So just a straight up kind of balm. Okay, next I have Rouse. And this one, ooh, I like this. You know what this shade reminds me of? Do you remember the Tom Ford lip glosses, the ones that came in those really heavy, square, beautiful um, packaging? They had a shade that I was so in love with called Phantom, and, or Phantom? Phantom, I think. And it just, it reminds me of this. So there is Rouse. I don't sense any mintiness in this one either. Interesting. Ooh, I really like that one. Kind of cools everything down on my skin tone. And then next we have Wish. Ooh, this looks like Reveal, but just like the peachy version of it. So here's Wish, Rouse, Reveal. I don't really, I don't detect any mintiness in this one either. So pretty, this goes really well with this blush. And last but not least, we have Crave. And this one, I'm actually gonna swatch this next to Reveal because it looks Similar. Oh, it's just a little bit warmer. Okay, so this is Crave, and there's Reveal. Do you see Crave has just a little bit of warmth in there? It's kind of between these two, Reveal and Wish. Mm, so pretty. All right, well, those are the four new Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balms, those four shades. Really, really pretty. I love that they're adding shades to this particular line because it is really such a good formula. And those soft matte lipsticks, I'm still thinking about and blown away about how smooth they made my lips look, despite my lips being fairly chapped today. And even after doing like all those lip swatches, I feel like even by the last soft matte lipstick swatch, my lips still looked smooth with those lipsticks on. That built-in primer really makes a difference. Really makes a difference. The Tower 28 is so, so much fun. I love this Dumpling Hour blush. I love that uh, lip gloss when I tapped it on over that last shade of the matte. That was really, really fun. Really nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.